Hi all, uh, in this video I would like to explain orbital perturbations. What do you mean by perturbations? Perturbations means some changes or deviation from the regular state. What is the stress angle, anxiety, generally? Orbital perturbations means uh, some changes in orbital parameters due to some effects and that are termed as uh, orbit perturbation or orbital perturbations. And according to uh, Kepler's law, uh, we come to or we came to several uh, phenomena such as the changes in velocity from farthest and nearest point of the orbits or from uh, Earth or from other planets. Like uh, depending upon the position, the velocity may vary. Like in uphelion or perihelion region. Uh, what do you mean by uphelion and perihelion region? Uphelion means farthest point from the uh, planet or uh, the farthest point of uh, farthest point in the orbit from a planet and uh, perihelion means nearest point okay like uh, this uh, keplerian orbit means uh, it assumes the earth is a uniform spherical mass then only we can apply kepler's law by considering earth as a uniform spherical mass and the only force acting is the centrifugal force and that is resulting from satellite motion balancing the gravitational pull of the earth again our spherical uniform spherical mass side to normal earth in a consider the jambo our act is in the or a or the force is on a centrifugal force on and but in practice some other forces which can be significant uh, such as gravitational forces of the sun and the moon atmospheric drag etc like this type of forces uh, may be acting on this uh, on on our earth and this results in some changes or deviation from the regular values of some orbital parameters and that uh, but uh, that effects are commonly termed as orbital perturbations and the gravitational pulls of sun and moon have negligible effect on where low orbiting earth or leo uh, low earth orbiting satellites uh, but they affect satellites in the geostationary. What do you mean by geostationary satellite? That means they uh, they have the same orbital period of the uh, rotational period of the earth. That means uh, 24 hours. And that uh, type of satellite seems to be stationary uh, when viewing from the earth. And another factor is atmospheric drag. Drag means some force or some pull. It's not as generally termed as drag. And uh, this has negligible effect on geostationary satellites, but they affect low earth uh, orbiting satellites that is below 1000 km. That's the general introduction of orbital perturbations. And these orbital perturbations have or, uh, the earth's uh, shape or non spherical, earth, earth is not a perfect sphere. And uh, this will affect the orbital, or this can result to orbital perturbations. Let us discuss that effects okay and first one is the effects of non spherical earth what, what do you mean by non sphere means uh, earth is considered as a uniform spherical mass according to kepler's law and uh, from kepler's law we can derive or we can get the equation for the mean motion n and here it is designated as n0 that means here uh, it is considered as a perfectly sphere or perfectly spherical earth of uniform mass that is it is that is why here it is denoted as n0 with a suffix 0 and according to Kepler's third law we can simply write n equal to root of mu by a cube that means a, uh, a means the cube root of the distance a and r or uh, some in some derivations we can notate a as r as uh, semi major axis and the n is the orbital period okay uh, the means the mean motion and it is uh, derived or just designated as n0 here because here earth is considered as a uh, perfect sphere with uniform mass but in practical cases or uh, earth is not a perfect uh, sphere and uh, it has some bulging at the equatorial region and a flattening at the poles at the north pole and south pole earth has some flattening and due to this shape, uh, the Earth's shape is generally termed as oblate shape. Okay, it is not a perfect sphere. It is known as oblate spheroid. That shape is termed as oblate spheroid. And uh, while uh, considering this Earth's oblateness, 
and this uh, equation can be modified as n equal to n0 into 1 plus k1 into 1 minus 1.5 sin square i by a square into 1 minus e square raised to 1.5 don't bother about this uh, too much terms uh, it is uh, simply uh, k1 is a constant and its value will be given in your problems and i is the angle of or inclination between inclination means the angle that exists between orbital plane and equatorial plane and this earth obliteness has negligible effect on the semi major axis that it won't affect a and if a is known this semi major axis is given is uh, known the mean motion can be calculated by simply substituting those values in the equation and the uh, uh, topic that the uh, effect of non spherical earth is continuing in this slide that is the orbital period taken into account uh, the years or obliteness is termed the anomalistic period and this type of period is known as anomal anomalistic period uh, let uh, earlier we we have uh, we have already mentioned the period that is uh, p and here by considering this earth's obliteness because earlier we have considered earth as a perfect sphere with uniform mass and this p a can be denoted as 2 pi by n seconds and uh, this is the period where n is the radians per second and if uh, the known quantity is n one can solve this equation using n minus root of mu by a cube into 1 plus uh, the previous equation just substituting that values in the equation this is the effect of non-spherical earth just uh, we can look into just a, uh, just look into a problem or example that is a satellite is orbiting in the equatorial plane with a period from perigee perigee means perigee or perigee or perigee perigee means perihelion point that is the nearest point from the sun uh, of uh, to perigee is 12 hour okay one perigee to perigee uh, that is one rotation sorry one revolution this 12 hours given that the eccentricity is equal to point not not to calculate the semi major axis we have to calculate semi major axis that is a small letter a we have to calculate and uh, the uh, given parameter sir equatorial radius is uh, 6378.1414 kilometer okay given data eccentricity e equal to here it is given point not not to i equal to zero that means equatorial and uh, uh, orbital plane uh, with zero inclination and p time period equal to 12 hours it is mentioned perigee to perigee that means complete rotation that is of 12 hours and k1 is also given the value in the question and uh, uh, mu the constant is also given and the equatorial radius is also given okay we have the equation n equal to 2 pi by p just simply substitute in that we get this value and assuming uh, as n0 applies third law gives a equal to mu by n square cube root of mu by n square just uh, simply substitute n value of n here and mu is all already given in the question itself and we get the uh, value of a that is calc the semi major axis the value of semi major axis next uh, other effects of non spherical earth this uh, non spherical earth can create uh, two more effects that is uh, namely two types of rotations of the orbital plane and which depend on the mean motion n and the semi major axis a and eccentricity e and the first effect is known as regression of the nodes and the second effect is known as rotation of apsides where the regression of nodes means here the nodes appear to slide along the equator ingane non spherical earth ayidund adana ee nodes nammala the nodes endanu paru rendu points thammile ikkoru orbital plane ile rendu ascending nodes descending nodes adinde rendu nodes ine uh, joining jayana line and the line of nodes and then ascending node and descending node ascending node means uh, the point where uh, the orbital plane crosses at the equator equatorial plane when uh, we consider the movement from 
south to south pole to north pole it is ascending node and in the reverse direction that is from the north pole to south pole it is known as descending node and this uh, line of nodes which is in the equatorial plane rotates about the center and this effect is known as regression of nodes and as a result the points the ascending nodes uh, the regression it results in the shifting of position okay and the second effect is known as rotation of apsides in the orbited plane this means the argument of perigee perigee means perihelion the nearest point in the earth from the uh, orbital or orbit of the satellite and that arguments or the that coordinates of the perigee with will change according to time and this uh, fact is by considering this fact is we can derive two more terms uh, k is given by n k1 into a square into 1 minus e square the whole square e means eccentricity and the rate of change of ohm that is this uh, right uh, ascension uh, of the ascending node and that rate is given by d ohm d ohm divided by dt and uh, these are the effects of non spherical earth and uh, and the other factor that uh, affects the orbital perturbations is atmospheric drag what do you mean by drag drag means a pull or the effect of one uh, external force it also affect orbital uh, perturbations means change in orbital parameters that mostly affect in near earth satellites means low earth orbit uh, low, low earth orbits leo satellites below 1000 km and the the effect of this atmospheric drag is significant for calculating the orbital parameters because the drag is greatest at the perigee that means this uh, higher at the uh, nearest points and this drag can reduce the velocity at this point the velocity of satellite can be reduced by uh, the effect of this atmospheric drag and uh, by considering this atmospheric drag Uh, the satellite does not reach the same apogee height on successive revolution ah thodarchayittulla adhaayathu oru revolution il oru point il apogee height il ettoengil adutha revolution alle adutha period same aayirikkadalle same height il ettadilla because of the variation in the orbital parameters and by considering this uh, the approximate expression can be uh, denoted as the semi major axis can be changed and this uh, changed or deviated axis value can be de denoted as a0 into n0 by n0 plus n0 dash into t minus t0 is the zero means the uh, considering the ideal case that's all about orbital perturbations it is simply the change in orbital parameters due to some effect the one uh, one of the effects is uh, the uh, obliqueness of the earth that means the deviation of the earth from Uh, uh, in its shape that is not not a uniform spherical mass it is a oblate spheroid because of this uh, shape the orbital parameters can be changed and the second is atmospheric drag and due to this atmospheric drag the velocity of the satellite can be varied in the orbit and uh, and as a result the orbital parameters can be changed uh, this effects are uh, collectively known as orbit perturbations or orbital perturbations simply the variations of orbital parameters okay that's all about the topic thanks for watching